Okay. Welcome back and welcome everybody to Jimmy's Neighborhood. Jimmy's Neighborhood. Not Jimmy's Neighborhood. Jimmy's First Gen Mini Rescue. I'm Jimmy and at this moment I'm going to be keeping rescuing uh, our first generation Mini Cooper S models. And my dog, uh, next door neighbor's dog is helping me. Anyway, I was going to say Jimmy's Neighborhood Bees, but I, I'm going to be doing bees a little bit later on. Uh, because as some of you may know, I'm also a beekeeper. Anyway, let me get today's fortune. Tell you what I'm going to do today and get started on this uh, project. Um, anyway, today's fortune. Keep true to the dreams of your youth. So, I like that. Keep true to the dreams of your youth. So, you know, don't don't let your dreams die. You know, always strive to reach them. Even if you never reach them, strive to reach them. Anyway, uh, today's video, there's a few nagging issues I have with all of the three cars that are currently running. I don't consider the orange car currently running. That's my problem, child. We get into that later, much later. I'm gonna tell you what I got. The blue convertible, it's a 2005. Uh, I gotta replace the driver's or passenger side seatbelt. Um, the retractor thing doesn't work. So when my wife, if she's in the passenger seat or whoever's in the passenger seat, when you put the seatbelt on, then it, it locks. And you know, normally you can unlock it and feel comfortable in the seat. It doesn't unlock. You have to release it, let it go all the way back in before you can pull it all the way back out. So I don't like that. It's a safety issue. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna attack that today. I ordered a whole new seatbelt retractor thing. I got it from All Mag Auto Parts down in Tampa, Florida. Um, it's not sponsored. It's just uh, where I get a lot of my parts. Some of the parts I get have to be used um, because it's just hard to find them new because these cars are, you know, 18, 19 years old, whatever. Anyway, so that one, that's the first part of this video. And then if I have time and it's not too hot, I'm going um, to get, I got some lithium grease. I want to take the door panel off of the driver's side because that window squeaks when it goes up and down. And I'll try and hit it with some lithium grease and uh, white lithium, it's kind of a dry lubricant. And um, if, if that works fine, if not, then I'll put it on the list to order a new window regulator. And you'll see that in another video if it comes to that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. In the future, I still gotta figure out the iPod on the blue and white that I just finished the clutch job on. And then um, on the gray and white mini, uh, the passenger's door, front door speaker is blown. So I, I need to replace those front speakers. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm not a, a, a big stereo guy. I mean, I don't have any subwoofers and all of that stuff in the cars. There's no amplifiers. Whatever was stock was stock, with the exception of, I think the blue has aftermarket speakers and uh, I know the orange has aftermarket speakers. But uh, I put back the original uh, radio in the orange and uh, all the all the cars have original radios. I don't need any, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 60. I, I don't need all of that extra stuff. So let me do this. Let me go get the car. I got my canopy. It's hot. It's going to be uh, 93 degrees Fahrenheit today with a heat index of 100 degrees. And I'll put the um, uh, Celsius conversion down here. So it's going to be hot. And so as my public service announcement, if you work outside, if you're going to be outside, mind your health, okay? It's no joke. If you got to go inside and do it later, do it later. If you if you can, if you can't, prehydrate, rehydrate, and uh, watch out for your friends and neighbors, people who you know are out there or people you work with if you're outside. Uh, I'm a beekeeper. I do a lot of things in the backyard by myself. 
but I also always let my, my wife know, sometimes if my neighbor's home, I let them know I'm gonna be in the back and they can just look out there every two, three minutes or every 10 minutes, whatever, I'll make sure I'm okay. But please take special care in this heat. And it's not just here in the United States. Europe is having it, Greece is having it. Um, Italy is, is hot, so, and, and, and you can see the sun is, is beaming on me right now. So I'm gonna try to get this done uh, kind of quickly. Um, well, you know, as quick as I can anyway. All right, let me quit rambling. Let me go get the car, get it underneath this uh, canopy thing here and uh, get started. Okay, the seatbelt in question is here. This is the front seat. Let's see if we can. The front seat seatbelt on the convertible is here. The retracting gear, let's press this and get this up. The retracting gear is down here behind this panel. So you have to uh, remove the bottom of the seat and you have to remove at least this side. You can do both if you choose. And then you have to take this panel off, the side panel here. And then that allows you access. And uh, it's um, a couple of Phillips, a couple of push pins, and um, the seatbelt is a T50 down here. That's a T50. And I believe inside the seat is a T50. And for the rear seat belt, once you get the seat out, is a T50. So let's gather some tools and let's get, get going. Okay. I gathered some tools together. I got a few down at my feet. And um, I'm going to have to um, take the seat back off that I'm leaning on. There's a trick to that, or not a trick, but the way to do it, I'll show you that. And then I'm gonna get this panel off and get this uh, seat belt out of here. So, first things first, I gotta remove the bottom cushion so that I can remove the back, seat back. So, bottom cushion is easy. And it's just a lift up. and pull it out. These things will come out, just stick them back in place and you can put them back later. Let me just stick that off to the side. Okay, the, the seat back, those clips clip onto these black things here. That's also where you hook your child seats to. And then also the front just has a little pressure thing here. Uh, then you got to get this body panel off and get these seatbelt here out of the way. So that's T50s. This is the uh, seat belt in question. So now we got to get the seat back off. Let's bring it around the back and show you. Now I know some of you may remember my this my pull string cheater system when the uh, rear hatch was broken. I I tied a string onto the uh, release mechanism and I ran it through the seat here and underneath the bottom seat so I could 
when I needed to open the hatch, I can do it manually because it's a manual pull release. However, unlike the R53s and the R50s, the hard tops, there's no release under the seat. It's all the way on the back tailgate. And I'll show it to you when I pull out. But uh, you got to um, pull that handle and that'll get it, get it open. But you can't reach the handle if the seats are up. So catch 22 there. Anyway, there's a 10 millimeter in between here that you need to uh, remove. in order to release the seat. Now, some people don't put this screw back in place, especially if you're back and forth taking your seats out. There it is. And that's your 10 millimeter. Let's see if it'll focus here. Yeah, get in there. Anyway, that's your 10 millimeter screw. And then there's a, uh, I'll show it to you, but there's a release. It's easier when you fold the seat down. And this is what I was showing you as far as the release. The screw screws in here that keeps this uh, latch from unlatching. However, once the seat is in place and it's latched, that's not gonna unlatch. But people put the screw back in. I put it back in, so. All right, part one is done. Or well, part two, three, whatever I'm on. Here's another view of that latch. It unlatches. There's a button on the side of the seat. Here, let's look at this button. And that button goes into the latch, just like a door latch, and it just closes. And that's what holds that side in. And the other side is just got a, uh, like a little T, and it fits in that hole. So you just got to get it in the right position to line it up, like lean the seat a little bit forward and it pulls right out. Okay, now on to the side panel. Okay, I'm just going to show you up close and then I'll put the camera away. There's a screw in there. I think, believe it's a Phillips head. You have the push pins here and down there. And then behind this trim, there's a... You can pull the trim off and I'll pull it off. There's a, let me hop out. There's a screw under here, but I need a tool to, I don't have fingernails, but you pull this out and there'll be a screw behind it. I'll show you. Okay. So I pulled that apart and then I'm going to pull the, door trim here just just a little bit you don't have to do the whole thing so i just took the rubber door seal off but behind this little there's a pin here that pulls out a little bit but also there's a phillips screw so i'm going to take that one off the one in the middle and the two push pins
Okay. My box from again. All mag auto auto parts. And this make sure you can see that. All mag auto parts. Not sponsored. Comes nice and wrapped. I gotta go get some cutters to cut these zip ties. If you ever needed to change your speakers, now would be a good time. Um, however, we're not, they work, we're happy. I believe these are the original, they're the original speakers, so anyway, all right. Okay, on the back side of the panel, there's these two blue clips that fit into little holes on the side of the door, or not door, but the uh, panel. It's one here and one up here. So those two blue clips and the green one at the bottom. Um, also, there's three silver clips, one here, one here, and one here. They usually stay with the car here, here, and here. However, my clip that's here is there, stuck on the panel. So I'm gonna pull it off the panel and put it on the car. Okay, I got it off of the panel and onto the car. So I'm gonna put you back on the other side. Don't forget to feed your seatbelt through first before putting on the panel, or else you'll just have to take it off and start all over. Anyway, I'm gonna put this panel on.
Okay, first part of that project is done. The seatbelt, I pulled it, retracted it. it. It locked up when it should and it let go and felt good, did what the other one wasn't gonna do. So we'll take a trip and, and uh, check it out, go for a drive somewhere sometime later. The second part of this project is gonna involve taking this door panel off. And um, what I wanna show, there's, there's four T30s, one here, one here. There's one behind a reflector over there. And there's actually one behind this um, armrest here. And there's a, there's a trick to getting that off. Now, this is the 2005 model. 2004, three and two, you don't have to remove this, this uh, soft panel here, this soft uh, armrest. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna put a picture up and show you the difference. But what you wanna look at is this area right here. Here, the panel comes all the way. The other one, the panel cuts off. I'll show you that now. Okay, here's the 2004. And the screw hole is visible here. On the five, the, pan, the uh, soft arm rest comes all the way around it. So you gotta remove this on the 2005, but not on the four, which is this gray and white, or the three, which is the blue and white. So I just wanted to show you those difference, that difference. But so I'm gonna show you how to take that off in a minute. Okay, as I go along, I'm gonna show you the tools that I use. Um, like I said, these are T30s. I have a couple of different kinds of T30s because it's kind of thin in there. Sometimes the, um, the socket kind you know, don't reach all the way in. But in my case, I can get it in there. Yeah. So we'll go ahead on and get those out of the way. They're loose, however, they didn't come out. So I got a magnet on a stick here. Get away. There's a long one. Another long one. Now, it's a little flat tip screwdriver, a little small one. I call it a tweaker because when you got to tweak fine electronics, things like that, you need a small screwdriver. But you pop the reflector. And there's your T30. It's a short one. And now, how do you remove this without breaking it? About right here behind, there is a, uh, uh, it's like a little clip. And what you need is some sort of thin panel tool to stick in between. Slide it forward of the door towards the front of the door. And then you can pop it out. So what this panel tool, I'm going to bring in closer, but you're kind of pushing in on this uh, clip here. And the clip just latches in. And then you just slide it. it it's got a... Uh, um, sliding um it's got a, a hook here that hooks into where the screw hole is so when you put it in you push it back that way however you want to just there we go 
throw that in the back seat. And now I can remove this screw. And it's a short screw. So these two are short, these two are long. And so now on the 05, the door panel has no more screws. You gotta be careful. Uh, uh, you gotta notice that you got your door lock here. But what I usually do is just use my bare hands, put it behind the door panel and pull out. But you also, if you don't have that to get started, you can use your tool. And you just pop it. They got those. I know I'm in your way. But don't just pop the bottom. Then you just work around with your hands. Some people remove this, but I never knew. I know I didn't know. I never knew why, because it, it's it's really not necessary. And now, here we go. On the 2005, you also have a puddle light, which is a little light at the bottom. Um, so I'm not gonna take that off. I'm not gonna unplug it, but you got a puddle light. Now, let's put the key in and show you why I'm gonna try to see what see if I can fix this. So you heard that squeaking. So what I'm gonna do is put the door with the window up and try to spray my uh, silicone in there and see what happens. Cycle it through a couple of times. I want to see if I um, moisten the window track. At least the, uh, the little rub thing where it rubs on the window. Okay, I ended up super soaking the inside of the every mechanism. I cleaned out the track. You saw it was kind of dirty, black in the track there, uh, because these cars live outside, so there it's just gonna happen. Um, I used some silicone spray, WD-40 um, combo, and this is what I got now. I see some dirt still. And then going up. Hmm. 
not a not a hundred percent perfect not a hundred percent perfect but better than it was so now i just got to get the door panel back on i'm gonna pull this off and Uh, get the door panel back on and that's going to be good enough. Um, I'll let it ride like that for the next, you know, year or two. And then if I got to get a new uh, regulator, I'll get a new regulator. And when I do that and remove the window, because you, you remove the glass, then I'll thoroughly clean the tracks and everything else um, and pre-lube everything before I got to put it back in. But right now, this is kind of like a no cost fix or, you know, not a fix cause it wasn't broke. It was just annoying. And so a no cost annoying fix. Um, so I'm gonna put the door panel back on, clean the window a little bit better uh, with some, some uh, Windex. And then, uh, yeah, we'll call this one done. It's um, the seatbelt was the main thing and then the door panel. So you don't need to see me put the door panel back on However, uh, you just have to know there are these little clips, like uh, every, everything has clips, you know. You line them up with the holes and you just push them in. Uh, you make sure you put your door lock, your door latch in before you uh, put everything together. So, door latch, line it up. To where it should go and then um, I usually look down the sides really you just make sure you line up your clips Push it in, the two short ones go here. Don't forget to make sure your uh, door lock is here. The two long ones go here and here. a quick snug don't forget uh, put your reflector it has three tabs and then um, it's no tab at the bottom as you can see as you can see, there's three tabs, but then the bottom has no tab, so it just sticks in and that's it. And for the door panel. Remember, the back has a hook that hooks into where the bolt screws in and then it slides backwards. it's it it's on and door panel is on i still need a new one of these because of one that's broke but there we go the window down Close the door, open the door, open it from the inside just to make sure you're good to go. Okay, this one is fixed. Um, the, the window, maybe over time, some of that uh, lubrication will sink in and, and uh, it'll quiet up over time. If not, it's not, a, it's not a big deal. It was just a convenience item. Uh, but the seatbelt looks like it works well. So uh, we drive this car usually in the evenings now because it's so hot. It's 
far as putting the top down. However, this was one of the cars that I took to the dealer and got the uh, AC um, redone. So the AC works really well in this car. Uh, maybe we'll take a weekend trip in this car. Just uh, maybe go out to the beach or something. We'll see. Um, anyway, so I'm going to clean up my tools, clean up my mess, go in the house, call it a day. I'm only going to do one car for this project. Uh, the next video, I'll do either the the blue and white mini that I did the clutch. I still got to put the heat shields on that and um, find out what the deal is with the uh, iPod connection. And um, the gray car, like I said, I think I, well, I'm pretty sure I know I did. I blew the speaker in the passenger's door and it was the original speaker, so it's 2004. I did order two speakers um, during uh, Prime Days, Amazon Prime Days, not sponsored, but that's what I ordered. Uh, just two for the front door. I'm not gonna change the backs until they need it. Um, so that'll be the project for the gray and white, uh, gray and white mini. So that being said, um, I wanna thank everybody for watching. Um, hopefully this helps somebody, whether it's taking a door panel off. I, I do need a new one of those, but it's not, you know, to me. Eh. Anyway, um, whether it helps you take a door panel off or a rear panel to fix your seatbelt, you take this, you do the same steps if you need to change your rear speakers in your car. Uh, sometimes there's also um, what do you call that airbag sensors back there. You might have to take these panels off. So, or you just want to remove your seats. That might you know show you how to do it too if that helps you. All right, I'm gonna call it a day and uh, go inside. Um, I don't think I'm gonna mess with the bees like I thought I was. Uh, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I'll get out there and look at a couple of hives. But uh, having said that, have fun with your bees if you're a bee collector. I mean, bee collector. I got one flying around me right now. If, if, you're, <laughs> if you're a beekeeper, have fun with your bees. And if you're a mini owner, mini driver, have fun with your minis. I think it's looking for a uh, moisture. Anyway, go on and get.